Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Bartosz Sochko. This is a game from the World Blitz Championship 2019. Magnus Carlsen had white pieces and he started with d4. Bartosz Sochko played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, b6, the queen's Indian defense, g3, bishop to b7, bishop to g2, black to move, c5, bishop to e7, and bishop to b4 check, the two most played moves, c5, white to move, how would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Magnus Carlsen played d5, very instructive, pawn sacrifice, e takes on d5, c takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, knight to c3, attacking the bishop, black to move, bishop takes on f3 was played, if bishop to b7, I don't know what Carlsen prepared, but castling and bishop to f4 are just some of the ways for white to continue, maybe e4, who knows. Bishop takes on f3, bishop takes bishop, Knight to c6, bishop to f4, bishop to e7, and both players castled kingside. Black is a pawn up, white is a bishop here. The black pawn on the d-file may become vulnerable down the track. The game continued. e3, black to move, knight to e8. What is the purpose of this move? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Magnus Galson played h4. Let's take it back. If something like queen to e2, then g5 and black wins a piece. Back to our game. h4 preventing g5. h6 perhaps intending g5. h5. Knight to c7, queen to a4. Knight to e6, attacking the bishop, rook from a to d1. White is a pawn down, but white army is fully mobilized. Black to move. Black can chop the bishop on f4. Is it a good move? What will you do? Sochko played rook to c8. Let's take it back. If knight takes on f4, one line goes like this. Bishop takes knight on c6, attacking the rook. And if now rook moves to c8, then rook takes on d7. And white wins. Back to our game. To avoid that problem, rook to c8 was played. Knight to d5. Knight takes on f4. White to move. How would you recapture? I guess most players would play queen takes knight on f4. Do you agree? Carlsen played g takes on f4. Why? The idea behind the move is to bring the rook on the g-file and to attack the black king. The game continued. Rook to e8, king to g2, bishop to f8, defending g7 pawn against the future troubles, rook to g1, knight to e7, challenging the monster knight, white to move, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Are you ready to see the move? Carson played, knight to f6 check, amazing, did you see this one coming? Can you see the purpose of this move? Well, g takes on f6, what else? And now it's obvious why Carlsen played knight to f6 check. Rook takes on d7, black queen has no safe place to go. b5, queen takes on a7, rook to a8. White played a move and black resigned and the move is rook takes queen. Black resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Rook takes queen. Rook takes rook. 
And let's play a few more moves. Rook takes on a2 may not be the best move, but wins a pawn, threatens to win another. King to h3, check. King to h7, rook takes bishop, rook takes pawn on b2, creating two pass pawns and threatening to win the pawn on f2. Rook takes on f7, check. King to h8, rook takes knight, rook takes on f2, threatening to take the bishop. Rook to e8, check. King to h7, bishop to e4, check. f5, and then white plays the obvious, and the obvious is bishop takes on f5, check. Mate. Magnus Carlsen won the World Blitz Championship 2019. He also won the Rapid World Chess Championship 2019. So, Magnus Carlsen holds the Triple Crown. What do you think? Why is Magnus Carlsen so good? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.